Picture looked good, but no sound through HDMI. This happens all the time. Do these things in order and you can have your sound back in just 15 seconds. First up, the simplest one of all. Turn off the TV, unplug it from the wall and wait for 15 seconds. Then plug it back in and turn it on again. You'd be amazed how often this clears those HDMI glitches regarding sound. So try this one first. The second one, and this is so obvious it's kind of crazy, but you'll be amazed how often this actually happens as well. Make sure the TV isn't muted and the sound is turned up. Some people sometimes have turned their TV down or they've got the sound muted. And of course, HDMI can send a picture even though the sound is muted. So make sure the volume is up on the TV. Next up, make sure all HDMI cables are plugged in properly. Again, it sounds obvious, but this can happen so easily that cables can come loose. You could have tugged the cable at some point and it's no longer securely connected and all the way in. So check on the back of the consoles, check on the back of the TV or Blu-ray player, give those cables a little shove, and make sure they're plugged in all the way. Even unplug them and plug them all the way back in again. Make sure all the cables are plugged all the way in. Because if you don't do this, they can be nearly all the way plugged in and you'll still get a picture sometimes, but no sound or vice versa. So give them all a shove, make sure they're all plugged in properly. Next, check if Bluetooth headphones or speakers are connected, because if they are, HDMI will usually disable the sound from the TV. It will vary upon TVs how you go about this, but on LG TVs, for example, this is a LG C9. I can long press the settings button. This will take me to um, this setting here. We can go to sound and I can scroll down to sound out and check the Bluetooth settings there. If that's on, you may have disabled the HDMI sound. So check this on your TV too. Next up, similar to that Bluetooth one, we're gonna make sure that the sound is being sent to the correct device. On a LG TV like this, we can see the sound out part here. In fact, if I go to the all settings thing, it should be a little bit clearer. If we go to sound, we can select between the different modes here, like the sound out, you can have internal speaker, optical, HDMI arc, or Bluetooth. Like if you're trying to send the sound to a AV receiver, for example, and that's not switched on, you're not gonna get any sound unless it auto switches back to the TV and vice versa. If you think you're supposed to be getting sound from an AV receiver, but it's not coming from the TV and you want it from the TV, then you need to pick internal TV speaker as the TV option. So make sure the sound output there is set to the right device. Next up, for sound bars or AV receivers, you must enable HDMI CEC or ARC because both devices need this option turned on. If you don't do this, you're only gonna get picture and no sound. And I'll show you how to find this on a LG TV. Again, we can long press that settings button to bring up our menu here. We can go to connection. If we go down to HDMI devices, we'll see it's called Simplink on LG TVs. It's um, HDMI CEC, you must have that turned on. If you don't have that turned on on the TV, and if you don't have that turned on on your sound bar, or your AV receiver, you are not going to get sound. So make sure both the devices have HDMI CEC turned on. Next, and again, this is related to sound bars and AV receivers, but you must make sure you are connected in the right way from your TV. To send sound correctly from your TV to your soundbar or AV receiver, you must use the ARC or eARC port on your TV. And usually this is a specific one, like on this LG C9, it's port two only, HDMI two is the only one that sends eARC. So you must make sure you're plugged into the correct port on your TV to your soundbar or AV receiver. And if all else fails, you can try changing the audio format. Not all soundbars and receivers can actually decode all the types of audio formats. You can change this on your TV. On an LG C9, we're gonna long press the settings button and bring up the menu here. And we can go to sound, additional settings, and HDMI input audio format. And we've got Bitstream at the moment. Try changing it to PCM. That hopefully will bring back the sound. I'm gonna do a separate video on this showing how we can do things, make adjustments on specific consoles as well, particularly the PS5 because again, that can actually muck around with things, but as a specific video on its own, that'd be coming next. And if you've got HDMI problems regarding picture, getting no picture from a console or something like that, there's a different video I did on that too, which is um, shows how to fix this, and some of the fixes are really, really easily, easily done. But um, there's a video. If you enjoyed this one, if it helped you out, be sure to bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.